Hey folks, that fix a guy here, and we're gonna add some more tools to the bucket today. So I wanted to show you three more tools from the store that everybody loves to hate. So come along, let's get to fix it. So before I show you the other tools, I bought these bad boys as well there, right? Same trip. This is the hollow shaft nut driver set that actually converts into the T-handle by Quinn. These things turn out to be awesome, man. Great find. The Harbor Freight really has some cool tools, in my opinion. So this right here is an eight and a half inch wide mouth adjustable jaw wrench, right? It does go all the way up to inch and a half. It says that you can actually pull this out, flip this wrench around, and now you've got somewhat of a pipe wrench with these grooves right there, right? But I'm never going to use this this way. This is my favorite mid-size wrench, though. I have owned a couple of these at this point. They are really nice. It's really solid. If you look down in that hole right there, you actually prod around like I did, you'll find that there's metal all the way down to here. This grip, it's a nice rubber grip. This is a cheap quality tool in my opinion. So it also comes with these little covers right here. I guess you could use on a little more delicate stuff. And now you've got something that is not metal, not gonna damage a plastic fitting or something you're working on. So that is kind of cool. Said I've never used those though. That's how I've ever put any of those things on ever. And said wide mouth. One thing I like about this, you go all the way to the end of this where it says to stop. And look, we put this up against a 10 inch rusted out vice grip. You get those lined up. Well, you get about another quarter inch out of this, which is, I don't know. It's pretty sweet. I say, I like it. This is the 12 inch wrench that I found a little while back. That bad boy will go an inch and a half. And then that will want a tight space. This is awesome. So number two is one of my favorite little setups, the Pittsburgh seven piece ratcheting combo set, right? It's nice to have, you know, a little opened in wrench, a little box in wrench that is a ratchet, right? This is definitely a cheap little set, but for the price, this is a great bang for your buck. Um, could I use bigger wrenches than this? Sure. I'm not going to carry all those in my tool bucket. This little seven piece set that goes from five sixteenths to three quarter. Well, awesome, right? These little things, I've owned a couple sets of these and they've not let me down yet. Fingers crossed. Last but not least, this eight piece set of bolstered screwdrivers has been a staple in my tool bucket forever. I don't carry every single one, but there is a couple that I do carry and I love. This whole screwdriver, one piece of metal with this plastic handle built on. The one thing that I really wish that they would do at Harbor Freight or Pittsburgh is I wish that they would like engrave these. I get it, it's a bit more expensive, but over time, this actually just wears off, right? like you can see on this old one. It's the same size, it's completely gone, and I broke the tip off. Why? Because I use this like a chisel. <laughs> the other nice thing, it's magnetic, right? The ends of these are magnetized, which does come in handy from time to time. Like you accidentally drop a screw down a drain or something, this sometimes will help you out and get it out. It has this end right here that you can actually take a 5 8 socket or this open end wrench, whatever, right? And hook that up and get that on there. But me personally, I'm using it a lot as a hammer. This right here, hillbilly hammer, boom, boom. Chisel, set up, boom, boom. So these littler sizes right here, I will always usually keep in my shop or in a separate tool bag. And I'll have them, but they won't go in my bucket. Why? Because I have a six in one that's gonna go in my bucket that covers all these sizes. So this three eighths and this number three and this five sixteenths and this number four, these are gonna go in there. This bad boy is gonna go in there and this whole little set right here is gonna tuck down on the inside. 
So I have to tell you, there is this, I think it's the first snag that I found with this bucket is there's not a pocket deep enough for my two big screwdrivers. I don't know that I like that, right? So, I mean, this pocket, maybe if it went all the way down instead of halfway up, it might work a little bit better for me. Yeah, I mean, if that was the case and it set right there, I might not be bad about it, but that's a bummer, dude. Hey, we're going to do a little rearrange in here. Take those. Put those in there. That looks like it could be a little bit better. This one's the deepest pocket. Let's pull those bad boys out and see if, well, I guess that could work. I mean, by the time we put some more screwdrivers in there and we get our six and one in there, that actually might work out pretty well. That bad boy is gonna go great. Hopefully the, the next ones will sit in there. These pop right down on the inside. Oh, check it out. There's my six and one. All right, well, that's not horrible. I'll take that. So don't sleep on tools from Harbor Freight, right? I was actually going to take this one back because the tip broke, but I've decided I was gonna shoot a video on chopping this off and actually showing you what this looked like there. And I mean, I'm telling you, I mean, look at that end. I pound the heck out of this thing, man. I've used these so wrong so many times and they've always worked great. I really hope that you folks are enjoying this me building the bucket back up process. It actually gives me a little time to let the shoulder heal more before I really get back into work and getting back into repair videos. So please subscribe, click the like button, check us out on Facebook, check us out on Instagram. You know, we're, we're just trying to get out there and help as many people as we possibly can. And I hope that we're doing that. Thank you very much. And we'll see you again real soon.